Now at five, new surveillance video shows a man breaking into a West Miami vape shop in the middle of the night. It's really upsetting uh, as a business owner, um, especially someone involved in small business. Tonight, why police are worried he might strike again in a CBS 4 News exclusive. Police say the thief has definitely done this before. And they want business owners to be on alert after this happens. CBS Force Peter Dench joins us live with the exclusive report from the Miami Vape Smoke Shop. And Peter, this burglar is was very determined. That's right. In fact, Elliot, uh, West Miami Police Major Pete Delgado says his heavy set burglar who was determined, as you mentioned, used a rock to break the glass on the front door of this business here in Southwest 8th Street at 63rd Avenue. Delgado would like to see him capture before he strikes again, and the victims agree. West Miami police want you to look closely at this man's face. They say he spends about three minutes inside the Miami vape smoke shop looking for vape devices like these and batteries to steal. He's very nonchalantly taking his time. At this point, I'm pretty enraged, obviously, because of the damage. To get inside Mateo Escobar's business, police say this burglar uses a rock to shatter the front door. You see glass falling to the ground before he enters. It's really upsetting uh, as a business owner, um, especially someone involved in small business that's trying to do everything they can to uplift the community and, and serve the community. Police say it happens just before two in the morning last Saturday at the business on Southwest 8th Street. You see this man scouring the store and there's a good glimpse of his face with a disposable blue mask wrapped around his chin. It appears as though he's got a, a small scratch or a cut from, from trying to gain entry into the business on the right side of his neck. When you, those uh, vape instruments or devices are pretty expensive and he stole about $1,500 worth of uh, devices and batteries. He took some, uh, some Delta 8 products. So there was um, these pre-rolls that we sell there. He happened to take a few of the Delta 8 disposable cartridges that we offer there. Um, and along with that, a, a few vapes, uh, these electronic uh, disposable vapes that we sell. West Miami Police Major Pete Delgado believes this man has victimized other people before. This guy's definitely done this before, and obviously not in our city, but in other cities or, or places because he's just very nonchalant about the whole thing, and he looks very comfortable doing it. He worried he could be hitting other businesses? Well, other businesses and other jurisdictions, and we don't want him to continue to do this here. Escobar hopes someone will call West Miami police with information leading to an arrest. It would give me a little peace of mind knowing that he's not going to be able to do it again, um, and not just to my shop, but to any other business around the area, because at the end of the day, I, I wouldn't want this to happen to anybody. Now again from that video, it's very clear the man, the burglar, has a scratch or cut on the right side of his neck. It's not clear though what age he is. West Miami Police can use your help. If you have any information at all, call them or Miami Day Crime Stoppers at 305-471 tips. We're live in West Miami, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you very much.